Welcome everyone to Vested Interest. This is Shane and this video is going to be a portfolio update. We did add $1,401 to the portfolio. Hopefully the waves in the background are not too loud. I am recording this on the beach. Uh, Saturday evening it is pretty dark here now so the lighting is not very good for a video so I will be doing this one without my face on the video but hopefully the waves in the background uh, are nice and they don't interfere with the production level or the, the sound level on this video. We did add $1,401 to the portfolio. I wanted to get this video out. I know I haven't been uh, covering a lot this week. Again, I am on vacation with the family, but, but ducked out a little bit to walk on the beach and, and wanted to put out a video there. Uh, so let's look at what we added to the portfolio this week. And if you've been watching the channel, you'll know that I have dipped into options a little bit the last couple of weeks. This week, we did not add anything in the options. Again, not very active this week uh, overall, but did do some uh, purchases, so I wanted to cover those. No options to cover, so zero cash added from that front there. First activity we'll get to was March 30th, and we had Vale, ticker V-A-L-E, out of the mining sector, material sector, a mining company. Uh, they added a couple different tranches. Don't know why they broke it up this way, but $58.69 and $7.97. All total $66.66, adding just over four shares, 3.68212 here in the first tranche, and just a little over half a share here, so 4.1 and some change there. Additional shares, which added $6.88 in passive income to the portfolio. And then we had several other companies pay out on March 31st. Kraft Heinz, ticker KHC, was one. They paid out $46.08. And we do have the drip set on dividend reinvestment plan, which means any company that pays out in the portfolio automatically goes back in and buys more shares of that company. So that's what happened here. That's what happened on Valet, the, the one before as well. And that $46.08 bought 1.19688 shares of Kraft Heinz. Union Pacific also paid out, ticker UNP, out of the industrial sector. And Kraft Heinz, if I didn't mention, is out of the consumer staple sector. So Union Pacific, Union Pacific, ticker UNP, out of the industrial sector, they paid out $26.17. And that went right back in and bought 0.13142 shares of UNP. And last up on the 31st, Bank of America paid out $48.55. And that went back in, ticker BAC, out of the financial sector, picking up 1.71438 shares, $120.80 paid out in dividends all total, adding $4.09 in additional passive income to the portfolio. That was it for the dividends. Now the first activity, new purchases, was all done on March 31st. On Friday, we invested the full $1,401.25. That should be a, a comma there. And with those funds, we added 12 more shares of Medical Properties Trust, ticker MPW. Uh, we added those shares at $8.10. Medical Properties Trust is a REIT out of the real estate sector. We added two shares of Union Pacific. So not only did Union Pacific pay out dividends, we added to the position, ticker UMP out of the industrial sector. We picked up those shares at $200.73. That's really about as high as I would go. I've been trying to get them under 200 or 200 or under there so we did add two more shares there uh, J and J Johnson and Johnson we added two more shares there at $154.39 Johnson and Johnson is out of the healthcare sector and Bank of America also paid out dividends this week so we added to that position been building this one out significantly with the banking pullback right now uh, 12 more shares at $28.39 ticker BAC out of the financial sector and rounding out the purchases this week, we added 10 more shares, the Ally Financial, ticker ALLY, another one that I've been trying to build out with the pullbacks in the bank. They really have shot back up, so hopefully they drop back, <laughs> big wave there, uh, hopefully they drop back under that $25 mark and I can add to them. But this is a little bit below my cost basis, so I was comfortable continuing to add to this position as well. All total, the $1,401.25 added $55.92 in pass, passive income to the portfolio. Total invested $1,401.25. And with the new purchases as well as the dividends paid out by the companies we saw previously, all total it added $66.89.
Now, next up, we will get to the portfolio update, the sector weights, how it's broken down. The communication sector is sitting at 9.58% of the portfolio. Consumer discretionary is sitting at 9.19. Consumer staples is sitting at 9, I'm sorry, consumer staples sitting at 6.29% of the portfolio. Energy sitting at 8.25% of the portfolio. Financials sitting at 10.94%. Healthcare sitting at 9.05. Industrials is sitting at 10.20% of the portfolio. Technology sitting at 9.85. Materials is sitting at 12.77%. Utilities, no utilities still waiting on some pullbacks here in this sector. And REITs and real estate is still making up the largest position in the portfolio at 13.88% here. Over to the right, you'll see uh, the same sector weights breakdown, right? But you'll also see not only the percentages, but the amount allocated, the funds allocated to each sector as well. And the total portfolio is currently sitting at 124000 $133.71. Now, lastly, in full transparency, I always like to show you all the positions within the portfolio, not only my buys, but where I sit with each uh, position, how many shares I own, what my cost basis is. That's my cost basis here. Current cost basis as of the close of business on Friday the 31st. Market value, uh, my purchase price, whether I'm up or whether I'm down, you'll see that here, what I'm up or what I'm down, the dollar value, what I'm up or what I'm down, the percent, percent wise, what sector the company sits in, quarterly, different when it pays out, whether it's quarterly, monthly, semi-annually, right? You can see my current yield or the current yield of each position as well as the totals down at the bottom. My yield on cost, again, with each position and the total at the bottom, portfolio weighting. So we saw on the previous slide the weighting per sector. This is per position. Estimated annual income, total at the bottom, what months they pay out, and the dividend growth at least as of right now. All right. So as I stated, and then you can see here how many total shares I own, 3,508.83 shares total. Market value sitting at $124,133.71. My purchase price, how much I have into it, $128,275.50. I am still down. Portfolio overall is still in the red, $4,141.79 in the red, down 3.23%. Current yield of 5.136%. My yield on cost is sitting at 4.97%. And this here is really what the whole portfolio is all about. The passive income provided by the positions in the portfolio, the dividends paid out sitting at $6,376.10. And this continues to grow whether the market's up, whether the market's down, whether the, the portfolio is up or down or floating sideways. That is really what I'm all about. The passive income eventually will allow me to become financial, financially free. I will be able to retire and live off the dividend income. And dividend growth is sitting at 7.46 for the total portfolio. Well, that is really it. I know this was a quick one, but again, I wanted to get this out to you guys on Sunday morning. I tried to put these portfolio updates out every Sunday morning so you can see what's going on, so you can see a real portfolio built out in real time, how the dividend growth, that dividend snowball grows over time and eventually can lead to that financial freedom. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully your portfolios are doing well. A lot more green in the market this last week, so that's nice to see but it does make it harder to find the value in the market. So we are hard at it looking for value and I will be back next week uh, on Thursday. So not much will go on. This is Shane with Vested Interest. Uh, remember, financial freedom comes to those who take a vested interest in their financial future. Hopefully you guys all have a great week. I'm going to get back upstairs to see my family. Let me know what activity was in your portfolio. Did you have any companies pay out dividends? I do personally read and respond to the comments. So drop me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Join me on this journey to financial freedom. We have rolled over 500 subscribers. So really appreciate everyone out there who has taken the time to subscribe to the channel. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, do that. Give me a like down below. Share with anyone you think that might find value. Again, drop me a comment and let me know what's going on in your portfolio. What are you buying? What are you selling? Hey, are you on vacation like I am with, with your kids? It's my kids. Uh, 
spring break this week so that is why we are down here in the bahamas i'll take some pictures and share those with you next week whenever i get back hopefully you all have a great week and we will see you in the next one i'm not a financial advisor nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice i'm always sharing my opinion in investing journey for educational and entertainment purposes investing involves risk cannabis money should never invest in amount you're not comfortable losing always do your own research invest based on your situation circumstances and select the criteria or seek the advice counsel a certified financial advisor i'm going to let the waves roll a little bit so if you want to listen to them, go ahead. If not, that's it for this one. We'll see you in the next one.